fair warning, most of it is Harry Potter related. Just, yeah. As you guys know, if you've been actually watching the last few videos, we went to Universal for our anniversary. We went to Universal Studios Hollywood and we got to go kind of around in Hollywood. Like we did the Walk of Fame, Griffith Observatory. It was amazing. So I thought just like I did when we went to Disneyland last year, I would do a souvenir haul for Universal Studios this year. Fair warning most of it is Harry Potter related. Just, yeah. This is their bag. <laughs> and we got a couple different things. There were so many different shops in Wizarding World and they had a ton of the different shops that are actually in the books and the movies replicated in the Wizarding World area that you could go to that would have similar stuff to what you do in the stories. And so we went to Honeydukes, and if you are a Harry Potter fan or know anything about it, it's like a sweet shop. And we got a chocolate frog, and I can't wait to figure out which wizard card we got. And we got Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans, which I'm really excited and probably will be a whole other video. So that's what we got actually inside Wizarding World. And then we went and we checked out the Universal Studios store that just had a bunch of different stuff from like every kind of area in the park and anything that Universal does, any movie, any TV show that they produce. So we are huge Bates Motel fans and I love the movie Psycho, like the original Alfred Hitchcock Psycho not the remake. I love the original and we love Bates Motel so we found a Bates Motel shirt. Oh yeah. And now on to Harry Potter stuff. I also got a shirt for that and this one I'll just use as a vlogging camera. It is this one with Sirius on it. Yes, that's who my cat is named after. And it's basically the Have You Seen This Wizard poster. So it shows his mugshot and everything. And I love it. It's so comfortable. It had one with Bellatrix Lestrange on it, but I loved this one. So that's the one I got. We also each got a Harry Potter mug. I got a travel mug that we're probably honestly gonna be sharing this one. It has the dark mark on it and it's a really, really good seal. So I'm super excited about that. It's really, it's really sturdy and nice. So I am really excited. I love this and it's just such a cool color and a cool design. So I was very excited about this. And then Andrew got a coffee mug that has the Hogwarts Express on it. It's huge, but it's incredible. It has super detailed design and Oh my gosh, it even has Hogwarts in the background and it's just amazing. So yeah, that was the mug he got. Also, we always get a frame everywhere we go, like all, all the different um, trips we've gone on, we bring a frame from everywhere we go. We have like four or five from our honeymoon because there was like four different ports we stopped at. We got one in Boston. We just always get frames. And that is kind of our thing we collect is picture frames. And we put a picture from that trip that we went on in it. So we got one for Universal also, but we got a Harry Potter one because this is just amazing. So we got a really cool picture to put in it and 
I'm excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. I love this frame and I can't wait to put a picture in it and put it up. Last and final Harry Potter thing we got was a butterbeer mug. We got butterbeer twice and it was so, so good. And the last time I really wanted a souvenir cup from it because this is just really cool. So I asked how much the difference was between one of the plastic cups and this that you got to keep and it wasn't that much. So I got this and it's really cool. The last thing actually in the park that we got were refillable cups and a popcorn bucket. So we each got one of these. That is a souvenir one. You could, the day you bought it, you got free refills all day. And then you could come back with it and pay like $7 to have refills for free again all day, unlimited refills all day. So we did these and it was amazing. It was awesome. And then we got a popcorn bucket. <laughs> so we got those in the park. So. Then, when we went to Hollywood, we really were just trying to make sure there wasn't anything out there that we wanted versus everything we saw in the park that we wanted, and there really was not that much. There was a ton of the same stuff that was in every shop we saw, and it was cool stuff, but it wasn't anything, like there wasn't a ton that caught our interest. And the few things that did, we were able to find cheaper on Amazon, so we didn't really get it then if we want to get it we can still get it on Amazon if we want it so the two things we did get in Hollywood were these two little trinkets the first one we went into a store along the Walk of Fame and found these it is a Hollywood Walk of Fame star and I actually found one with my name on it you'd be surprised how not common for me finding my name in these is or if they even keep that many of my name so I end up not having any of my name left to actually be able to get some even if they carry my name so yeah I was excited about that and we got this really cool magnet that is I can't remember what it's called but it's the um, the, the thing they clap in between scenes <laughs> Can't remember what it's called but you know what I mean and it's actually also a bottle opener so yeah it will go on the fridge so that is what we got on our trip to Universal slash Hollywood it is an incredible trip I will put a link to the playlist of all the videos if you have not seen it go and watch we had a ton of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and share it with everybody. And if you are not already subscribed, click the screen and subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.